So the uh, meeting is over, got a little heated. How did you think it went? I think it went quite well. Once you get a dialogue in place, it moves forward. And there's a dialogue going on now in the town of North Haven about this issue. A lot of people, um, you know, just, they think we are the Indians. I think by adopting uh, a mascot, they somehow make it part of their tradition. What do you think? I think that they see it as a mascot only. There is no depth to it in understanding the, str the struggles of Native Americans over the last 500 years. And what is your own background? What the nation, Indian nation? Are you I from? am from the Wampanoag Nation, the nation of King Philip, largest, Wamp largest nation in, in the Northeast. And, and some uh, presented a kind of a strange story of Indians and whites in this area getting along, and from my understanding, it was not that rosy. That's why we've gone from 20 million Native Americans to 2 million Native Americans on this continent. Last point, uh, one uh, woman who is evidently from a South American uh, Indian nation or background uh, seemed to think that if you got rid of the mascot, you'd have to get rid of all the names of the Indian uh, words in the town. Mm -hmm. Is that the intent? The intent is for the town of North Haven to appreciate and earn, figure out how they understand what pride is with Native Americans. The young lady who spoke for was, she was from South America. They use that term generically. In North America, it means there's something entirely different, you mean, of the 50 contiguous states. It's a different perspective entirely. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome.